all the state of me, I'm gonna do this because I actually look awful and look at that. <gasps> Sorry, but that needs an introduction to the vlog. Hi, welcome. <gasps> You can see the ray skin. At, sorry, is that a growth? So I was just about to do a workout. My battery's flashing, and I'm absolutely starving. I've got no milk, so I think I'm gonna have to just go get milk. You know. Look at the size of it. That's why you don't leave your makeup on. Oh my lord, Jesus! I'm back. Got the craving down. Remembered I needed deodorant. My tire was flat because I've got a slow puncture. I should probably sort that out. So I pumped that up, and now I need to make my porridge. I didn't think I liked porridge for 30 whole years of my existence. I was introduced to cold porridge and now I really like it. And then I didn't think it would have so many questions. So literally I'll do what I just did and I'm gonna leave it. And normally I leave it about 20 minutes, but I'm gonna leave it for my whole entire workout. And it's gonna be nice and creamy. Don't knock it till you try it, babes. Alexa, you need to help, oh. <laughs> need to help me get through a workout. Well, I have just chucked my foot coat on the floor like that. Some might say this is improvement, some might say you still look like shit babes and I'd be inclined to agree really but I've done my best. Um, I've had to put my hair in the middle part in to cover up this beast, look at it. Oh, my hair's still wet, ignore that. The weather today, very weird. It looked like winter. Now it looks like it could potentially be summer. I've gone for jeans and a wee little top. They are Stradivarius. And I love them. It's actually now nearly, shut up. Nah, I ain't changed my clock since the clock changed. Oh my God, it's actually 20 to two. What do I think I'm gonna vlog now? I had things to do. This is the thing, things that you, boring things. I do actually need to go to BM, that BM, 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 BM. Dun, 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 dun. Basically, I need a new shower curtain because mine at the bottom is starting to get a bit mold. And I washed it, cause I wash it and it's still there and it's creeping me out. If the bottom comes near me, I'm like, Ugh! The weather has changed so much that this morning I went out in a puffer coat and now I'm not sure if I'm going to be hot in a linen shirt. Look how nice that is. So pretty. Everything looks better in the sunshine. Bloody love it. Oh, and look who's got a new leaf. Hello. Isn't it weird that Jude used to be here? I still think about Jude a lot, but I don't want her back. No offence, Jude. R.I.P. Look at this leaf. Oh, yeah. Pretty. It's actually so soft. I love it. Then if you come in here, death. Plants are coming into my bathroom to die and it's really sad. Probably because it sits over there in the corner. Not good, but I do need to replace this one. Oh my god, it's so heavy. <sighs> right, I'm back from B&M. What's B&M? It's a shot. Oh, oh my word. What's oh, it James, I'm gonna have to bring you back down to worth, then we start with the food. I find that B&M always have food that you like in different flavours that you wouldn't get anywhere else. So I got some Oreos. But I got mint. I swear with mint flavoured things, you either love it or you hate it. Or you're either a mint or an orange person. I'm actually both. What are you? Also got some normal Oreos. Batman. And then next, I couldn't resist this. It's one of those dippy things, but Biscoff. And I just got some orange club bars. Some timeout wafers. I'm nearly through the food, but I, I just got... I forgot they had food and then I got loads. And some Cheetos. Flaming hot Cheetos. I haven't had Cheetos since I went on holiday. It's such like a holiday crisp. I love cereal. I'm obsessed with it. I cannot be trusted around it. But ever since I've been eating porridge, all I've been eating is porridge and wheat bix I brought Crunchy Nut once. And I got through it so fast, I was like, I actually can't do this because on TikTok they did a video of how much sugar is in it. It's actually ridiculous. I know I just showed you loads of sugary snacks, but I have willpower with them. But I did tell a bit of a lie there. Cereal, I could have another bowl, another bowl. I could have the whole box in one go. I have missed having a cheeky bowl of cereal, so I got the mini ones. I, I could actually end up eating all the boxes in one go, but I'm thinking because it's in a box and it's not just being poured, I can't go, oh, I'll have another top up, oh, and another top up. So I treated myself. I'm actually so excited. I'm. I don't remember the last time I had proper cereal. How weird is that? Like, I am a cereal addict, but I can't wait. We'll do home stuff last, cleaning stuff now. Okay. We got some fairy. I just call this fairy up liquid. Don't know why. I was probably 22 when I stopped. Fairy up. Washing up. Fairy up. Kind of makes sense. Dettol multi-purpose. Apple. My apple. What film is that from? Comment below. My apple. Apple. 
I literally got this because of the packaging and because I wanted some because my bin always smells like sewage. It doesn't, I'm lying, but sometimes it does though. I'm always like to know me, my bin, my bin. She never, she will put her whole head in my bin and say it doesn't smell when it stinks of pure sewage. But look, it's a little bloody wheelie bin. Tell me that in the cutest thing you've ever seen. Don't even know what it smells like. Pink grapefruit, better than sewage or bin juice. Uh, isn't bin juice just the worst? Bin juice. I actually took my bin out last night and there was literal bin juice dripping. And I was like, eh? Uh? Okay, so that, that's just adorable. Oh, what is it? What is it? If you don't know what it is, it's like powder that you put in the bottom of your bin. Soaks up liquid, aka bin juice. Fragrance is bin and controls the smell, aka sewage. This isn't a cleaning product, but I got some El Rezas. Henry stinks again like sewage. Probably need to do something about it. I mean, I'm being dramatic. It just stinks like Henry. Like, don't you think Henry just has a smell? Or am I just a tramp? I don't know. But I've got some 1001 carpet fresh. I just like the shh. I haven't had this in ages. And I got this in exotic flowers and pink grapefruit. Is that grapefruit as well? Flats gonna smell like grapefruit. Wow, it's bright. Dettol five in one washing machine cleaner. I don't know why I got this, but I thought mm, my washing machine probably needs to clean. So I got that. <gasps> Should've got something to scale my kettle actually. And then I ran out of Viacal, so I got the this one. This isn't the original. I think this smells better. The fresh Viacal. This stuff's really good for lime scale. I also got this Febreze. Spring Awakening. Lenore. Oh, it's a Lenore one. I love Spring Awakening. That's my washing thing. Oh, that's nice. I didn't actually smell it. I just saw Spring Awakening and was like, yeah, obviously. Now it makes sense because I love the Lenore Spring Awakening. Why'd I do that? I'm sorry. Okay, on to the home stuff. Honestly, if I could have got a trolley, I would have got more. But I was walking around with this basket. My hands were hurting. It was, it was hard work. I've not been in B&M for so long. I think that's why I saw a lot. A replacement shower curtain, which is the whole reason why I went there. It's literally the same as I got. Uh, as I was here. It's literally the same as I've got now. It's really nice. It's like... It's not like your typical shower curtain feel. It kind of feels like a curtain. And, oh, do you want to know prices, by the way? I'm not telling you prices of the other stuff. That's long. But this was, wow, six pounds. It's actually a bargain. It lasts a while before it goes mouldy. I have thought about getting a round bath mat for a while. And I needed a new bath mat because God knows how long I've had mine. It's actually so long. I googled how long you should have them for and was horrified. But I won't talk about that. I got this. Look, look at that. So it's like a circle, but a half a circle. It's a semi-circle. The only thing I'm a bit concerned about is it's not quite white. Like, that's white, that's cream. So I don't know how it's gonna look in my bathroom. I love that it's a semi-circle, because I really wanted a circle. Now I've got a semi. <laughs> I couldn't work out if this was so quirky and so cool, and I loved it, or it actually just looked like proper granny-ish, like real old school. No, not for me. I wish you all the best. I'm afraid it's a no from me. What do you think? Do you like the bath mat? It's just something about it I absolutely hate. It looks so much nicer on there than it does in reality. Instagram, reality. Instagram, reality. Oh, we've got some other things. Hold on. We've got a lighter. I haven't had a lighter in so long. I haven't lit a candle in like a month. Who am I? And then I also got something else that's extremely boring. Some B8 Therese Batteres because I've got the other ones. What are they? Double A, but I never have triple A, and I've always needed triple A. Cool story, bro. And then exciting times for my bedroom. I got a new duvet. I've never had a duvet from B&M before. Oh, if I turned it on the right. Oh. <laughs> I got 100% pure cotton waffle duvet. I love waffle. Hold on. Can and do me a favour, will you? Love waffle. I haven't got nothing waffle, but I just love that look. Oh, you bastard. Oh, I was so excited. I got a freaking double, didn't I? I've got a king. It's only £20. Bargain. Probably be more when it's in a king. But I pay way more for my bed in. So I'm actually really chuffed. Quite chuffed with that, actually. Is breathable, light, soft fabric. Ow. Oh. Yeah, there was actually loads of really nice bedding. So 10 out of 10, recommend B&M for bedding. I've not tried it, 
but it looks nice. And then let me just pick this one up with my toes. Does anyone else do that when you clench your toes over things? Stop blurring. I got another thing for my bedroom. I'm hoping it's the right size. A hanging basket and I want to get a nice big plant for the corner of my room. I'll show you where. But I've not seen one as big. Only eight pounds. I don't know why I don't go to B&M anymore, you know. I had a great time. I was in there for nearly an hour. I also went to Tesco. But I didn't know if you would be bored because I did a food shop haul the last video and I thought, do you really want another one? It's only a little one. But I did get these joggers. Let me show you my joggers. I think I'm going to go back and get a smaller size though. Just grey joggers. They're really not that exciting. But I like... I think I've got like three pairs of Tesco like tracksuit bottoms or loungewear and I like them so so here they are I've rolled at the bottom because I've got little legs I think I want to go back these are a 10 I might go back and get an 8 because I wanted them as like not so loungy and a bit more I can wear them out and about they're comfortable though they're nice they were 14 pounds I was on a bit of a spending spree today weren't I look how well it goes love it and it brings a bit of this vibe over to that side of the bedroom thinking for this in this you can't see let me put you somewhere hold on where should we put you so i'm thinking oh i actually really like that i think i really like that i need someone to go over there and show me what he looks like i might watch this back but this will look nice let's do a transition so not looking at the boxes that have some crumbs in i'm not going to be cleaning that out but we're going to do a transition we're going to close the door and when we open it again it's going to be snack heaven are you ready boom tonight matthew i'm going to be snacks oh, da -na 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 -na. that makes me happy this makes me sad though because where do you go huh you haven't got a space have you so putting it there, which kind of ruins it, but it's fine. Okay, so the bedding I was going to exchange didn't happen. It's been returned. Naomi told me that B&M bedding is rubbish. And I'm sure some of you love it. And you're going to say, no, it's great. It's lovely. I am very fussy with my bedding anyway. So I decided, you know what? Back to Wilco. I shall go. And that is where I went. And I also treated myself to a new duvet, like the actual duvet, the inside. And I thought I'd come on here show you what I got and show you my hanging plant because it's up and I love it. I love it. Wow, white bedding looks exactly the same as your last one, Jess. Um, it is so soft, luxurious, and I haven't got feather. It's like normal, whatever you call it. I'm so excited to get in this. The feather sometimes does get a bit hot. I need to change my headboard still. It's not even, it's not even go there. But look at this, can you see it? Wait, wait, wait. Hello. It's me. Look at her. I was going to get a real plant, but you know what? I actually thoroughly enjoy that. And I don't have to kill it. This was the hanging plant that was here. And it was pointed out to me that you can't even see it anyway. So what's the point? So here it is over here looking glorious. I actually love it. It brings this to there but that headboard is really ruining the vibe got a vibe so this is a hundred percent cotton 300 thread crown count and it's soft light and i've had it before actually i've bought this twice in the past and i don't know why i didn't have it the last time and this is what i bought if you were wondering here it is egyptian cotton here's the insert i got this had great reviews I also got a new sheet this is a whole week later i missed last week's upload i'm sick of myself just unsubscribe Give the video a thumbs down, unsubscribe, and tell me in the comments that I am a useless prick. Okay? Alright, don't do any of that. I promise I'm trying to do better, alright? Alright. Give me some video ideas below, and then it'll make my life easier, because apparently that's what I'm struggling with. Look at my hair. I'm sick of it. I'm actually sick of it. I get one day out of my hair at the moment. One day. I'm about this close to straightening it. I'm not actually, because I look disgusting with straight hair. Um, that's a video idea. I've been saying I'm going to do that for about a year. Straightening my hair for the first time in five years. All right, I'm going. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. Toodles. God love you.